All right, so another concept that we want to um, kind of indoctrinate you guys with is the idea of these little code notes. Um, we came up with this as kind of a learning tool so that you can mark up your theme in such a way that even if you're looking at the very front of it, then you'll be able to know what individual areas are called. So just follow along and what that means will become apparent to you. So we're going to make new template files. Since we have a child theme, we can safely mess around with our themes without screwing anything up. And so we're going to first, we're going to make a copy of header.php. And again, I'm not using a Mac, so I'm just dragging it over and holding the option key, and that makes a duplicate file in the folder that you're dropping it into. Oh, okay, header.php. So, as you saw over here, we did some stuff. <laughs> we did some stuff. It's a great direction, huh? And so, right here, we found the header. And so we want to be able to, we want you to identify where the header gets created in your template files. So the header area probably gets created in header.php. And what we're looking for is somewhere in the code where it produces something like a, this HTML element header with the ID masthead and class site header. So let's just kind of dig around in here. As we told you before, this is probably a whole bunch of code that doesn't make any sense to you, and it doesn't make a lot of sense to me either. But like we keep trying to tell you guys, this is not about us teaching you to co program with PHP. It's about you feeling confident and being able to go into these template files and making tweaks to the themes in the ways that suit your particular purpose. And if you're working with an organization, then they're probably not going to have a lot of money to hire a WordPress developer, so you need to be able to hack into what we're doing and really help them out. So when you're looking in these template files, try and find things that you know make sense to you. Like, do you recognize any of the stuff on here? Like, I recognize head. We make those when we coded our own um, HTML web pages, and there's the end of the head. So here's the body tag. Oh, I, div, id equals page, class, hfeed, site. So this is not alien at all. You have created something just like this. In fact, let's take a look where that is. Div, id equals page, class equals hfeed, site. And so, can't remember, did we make it look like anything? Yes, we did. So, we already showed that this div exists by giving it a border. So let's do something else. Let's write like, hey guys, this is the page div. So we can just literally do that. I'll make this an h6. refresh and let's see if that shows up. And it does. Look, hey guys, this is the page div. We can do the same kind of thing with the right under the header. 